So, we got picks for, wow, we, we got picks already for what, week, f this is week f six. This is insane. Hold on, one, two, three, four, five. This is week six. That's insane to me, I just realized that. Anyway, back with more picks. I'm in the Luzerne computer lab because my laptop decided to die. So, good job, laptop. Anyway, um, last week's games, I did okay. Did I? I did I. Wilkesbury beat Berwick. Big, big, big. Because we have a big game this week, which I will talk about, um, that really decides 4A. Um, looking in here, I saw another game that really interested me. Um, Nanakook beat Lehman. So, it just goes to show, and I know Jake edits these, I told you, Lehman is not that good. They are really, really bad. And Nanakoke, well, they, they look like superstars, realistically. So, let's see what happens here. So, it's, it's 9.29. These games are happening 9.30. I hate this chair. Oh, my word. Anyway, let's talk. I do not have my normal schedule thing. I have to do it on the computer here. So, I'm looking at PIAAD2.org website this time. I apologize. I think these games all look valid. So let's see what's going on here. Starting with the Wyoming Valley Conference this time. And we're going to save the first game that I see for last on the Wyoming Valley Conference. So Crestwood at Wilkesbury area. Wilkesbury had upset their upset their upset of the year. Uh last week against Berwick. I go to school with a couple high school kids. Yes, I know that's possible. Um, I go to college with a bunch of high school kids and they go to Berwick. And one kid said they um, they just can't hold it together in the fourth quarter, which I kind of am getting that as well. Uh, but Wilkesbury, real quick, and McKee Nelson rebounded after losing to Hazleton. He came in and he he really, really put pedal to the metal, and I think that was cool. So Wilkesbury beat Berwick, and but Crestwood, Crestwood's pretty, pretty darn good. I didn't expect them to be really anything, but they're starting to warm and heat up, and they could be a team you don't want to run into down the stretch. Um, so really, really good game actually. I'm going to have to give this one to Crestwood. Um, I'm going to give it to Crestwood by. Hold up! Don't, don't, don't just spew numbers here. Crestwood by 10. I think it's going to be a close game, but 10 points down the end of the stretch. That's what I'm looking at. Um, I'm going to speed this up here. Williamsport Central Mountain. I'm going to say... I'm, going to go, I'm just going to go with... Uh, I don't know really much about Central Mountain. I'm going to go with Williamsport. Williamsport by 7. Wyoming area and Scranton. Scranton's just so good. Wyoming area looks terrible right now and I don't know what's wrong with Wyoming area they're normally not like this so let's give it to Scranton let's go Scranton by 17 because they just continue to run the score up um Nanakoke at Pittston this game's not going to be close folks I just I hate to tell you now Pittston I know a lot of Pittston people watch this Pittston players watch this guys you can't go into that game overconfident over arrogant because that is what will kill you nanocoke is that silent blends in with the road like those police spikes you know those police spikes that's nanocoke you could be flying down the highway and you don't even recognize their air and boom they could derail your season so i think pittston's got this pretty handily i'm gonna go pittston by 20 but i think nanocoke could be a surprising game so you can't afford to um you know, come into that game a little too confident. Just play your game. Don't get mouthy. Just win. You need to win out. You just lost to Valley View. You got to win out. Moving on. Berwick Valley West. Berwick Valley West looks terrible. I'm gonna go Berwick by. I'm gonna go Berwick by 17 because they tend to blow games in the fourth quarter. So they might cut their lead down. Berwick. Berwick. Yeah. Um. Tunkanic and Lehman. Lehman looks terrible, but Tunkanic looked flat. I had them uh, last Friday. I was calling the game on Max, and Tunkanic looked flat. 
Chilson was overthrown as guys. So maybe they can come back from that. Either Ter Tunkanic didn't look good or Honesdale came out looking insane. But it looked, I think Tunkanic didn't look that great. Um, I'm going to go, actually, no. I'm going to go with Tunkanic by 10. A Redeemer in Hanover. This is going to be Hanover. This is Hanover by 14. And then it also says Lehman at Redeemer. I do not believe that to be the case. So I don't know what we want to do about that. I've never, of course, I don't have the magazine with me. Um, so that, that sucks. <laughs> I don't know who Redeemer plays. So we're going to leave them out. This is nothing against y'all. But um, I'm not calling Redeemer's game. Unless they do play Lehman. And then in that case, Redeemer's going to win by eight. But I think they already played. So yeah, it already happened week four. So let's move on to the final game of the Wyoming Valley Conference. And we'll switch over to La Lackawanna. And we'll move on with life. Uh, Dallas and Hazleton area. Remember how I told you about the Berwick game and how there's another game that's not one of their games that is going to be quite pivotal, I think is the word. Well, it's Dallas and Hazleton area. They're competing two top teams in Wyoming Valley Conference by far. You've got both of those teams on your schedule if you're Berwick. And one of those teams is going to have a loss when you play them. See, next week is the game that I've got is Dallas and Berwick. Then the week after that, they're going to play Danville, Berwick is, and it's going to be tough. Um, and then they play um, Hazleton area at the end of the season, week 10. That's Well, they play another team, and then they play, I think they play Crestwood, and then they play Hazleton at the end of the season. So this is really pivotal, especially if Berwick wants to make a run for things. They're not completely out of it. They're 2-3 and three right now, though, which is not good. But it's not completely out for Berwick. So let's talk about Dallas and Hazleton area for a second. These two teams mat matched up last year. Is at Dallas, and it was a I think I believe it was a 2017 final score. It was an overtime game for sure. Um, one of two overtime games that Dallas played that last year. Um, they played Valley West in OT and compl and won fair and square. Just so you know, um, and then. Um, we played Hazleton, and I must say, I think the key to this game is going to be the, um, it's going to be at the Lions. You can only go as far as your Lions can take you, and these defensive lines and offensive lines on both teams are insane, and I think I'm going to have to go with both, both, I honestly thought both offensive lines were a little bit small this year. I personally thought, um, but I'm going to have to go with Dallas by three. It's going to be a field goal game, folks. I 100% believe that. Dallas by three. Going into Hazleton and getting the upset, or I guess they come in as underdogs, don't they? Because Hazleton beat them last year. So really, since they're both undefeated, Dallas comes in as an underdog. I'll take them, as, I'll take them by three, just because I'm more familiar with them than I am with anybody else. And that's not me being a homer. That's just my gut, you know. And also, Manello is pretty much looking at the same team that he's that he looked at last year. So that's just me. That's just me. I'm not being a homer. I promise. I promise. Um, but that will do it for Wyoming Valley Conference. And things will get interesting depending on who wins that game. Things will change. Um, now, on Lackawanna side of things, there are some pivotal games. <laughs> pivotal games. We will talk about Delaware Valley at North Pocono. Uh, this is this is Delaware Valley. I don't know what North Pocono team shows up week to week, so I'm gonna have to go with Delaware Valley, um, who lost to Prep last week. After Prep lost to Scranton, but we found out Scranton was good. So interesting. I'm gonna go with Delaware Valley by ten by the, on this one. The game that I have this week on Max 102, the Max matchup of the week. You should totally listen to it. Uh, Abington Heights at Valley View. And to, to the eye, it screams this is a blowout, but it's not a blowout. Abington Heights and Valley View always have close games. Valley View could be undefeated and Abington Heights could be winless. 
and they are coming into this game, and it is going to be a bloodbath. It's like Dallas and Lehman, and it's like Pittston and Wyoming area. It is a bloodbath, and it's not even a rivalry game either. It's a bloodbath every freaking year. It is tight all the way down the stretch. I'm going to go with Valley View. Uh, I think that's probably the logical choice, but I'm going to go Valley View by 7. Abington's going to give them a little bit of a hard time. We'll see if they can either, if they could break free early, they're going to blow it open. But if not, I think Valley View's only going to win this game by 7 points. Wyoming area at Scranton. Uh, we already did that one. Oh, I said Scranton already. Western, West Scranton at Western Wayne. Western Wayne looks way better um, than I thought they would. Uh, Western Wayne's going to win this game by 12. Uh, and then Wall Popek plays Scram Prep. Saturday game, folks. Two Saturday games, as far as I'm concerned. But Saturday game, uh, Wall Popek at Scram Prep. Does Scranton Prep come. What team do we see? Do we see the team that lost to Scranton? Or do we see the team that beat Delaware Valley last week? No. We, 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 see the, we see the team that beat Delaware Valley last week. Um, and I must say, while Paw Pack is coming out flat, and they're not good. So let's go with Scranton Prep by 14 points here. Honesdale at Lakeland. This game is over. This is Lakeland by 40 points. That's it. Carbondale at Riverside. Carbondale at Riverside, Carbondale at Riverside. Let's go with Riverside. Riverside looks good against Val Mid Valley when I got a chance to actually see them. Uh, I'm going to go. Wait, hold on. Yeah, no. I'm going to go with Riverside on this one. Riverside by 14. And then Mid Valley at Dunmore. Dunmore. Okay, listen. I. I'm going to. I'm not going to say it. Uh, Dunmore is good. They're not as good as certain people are making them out to be, but they're good still. Um, so I'm going to go with Dunmore on this one. Uh, it just seems right, you know. Um, you don't get a lot of times where Dunmore and Mid-Valley is a good game. And once again, this is also that case. Last year would have been a really good game. Uh, and I think it actually was. If I'm not mistaken, they did in fact play each other. But um, regardless, uh, I think Dunmore's got this game. Dunmore, thir Dunmore by 13. Somebody dropped a bowling ball upstairs apparently. Uh, Susquehanna at Holy Cross, the other Saturday game at St. Anthony's Park. I will not be at, at a Saturday game. My brother has a cross-country race at Bloomsburg, so I have to go coach him through that. It's it's a moral support thing. Just don't even. Um, but I've got Susquehanna. Susquehanna looked pretty good against Redeemer. Um, I'm going to go with Susky on this. They're going to play... I think it's a 1 o'clock game. I got Susquehanna by a lot. I got them by like 24. 24 points. Let's go Susquehanna by 24. And then Trail. Trail and Old Forge. Two teams that dropped a couple stinkers this year. One of them dropped one to Honesdale. The other one dropped one. I'm not going to necessarily say to Dunmore, but they. Uh, and then Old Forge also lost to Lakeland. They lost to Dunmore. Who else did they lose to? They lost to somebody else. Um, no, they beat Mid Valley, and they, I know they lost to, I thought they lost to somebody else. It doesn't matter. Um, looking at the game at hand, it's at Old Forge. I'm gonna give it, to, actually, I'm gonna give it to, ooh, that's, oh, I'm thinking about it, hold on. I had all these picks in my head, and now I'm, now I'm second guessing myself. Trail comes in, they re, they tried to rebound, but, they lost to Dunmore. Both teams lost to Dunmore. Another team, and then Lake Montreal also lost to Honesdale. Old Forge lost to who, whoever the hell they lost to. I forget who they. I, I am. Um, I forget exactly who it was. I just took two exams. Leave me alone. Um, but I'll tell you, um, both teams have two losses. That I know for a fact. Um, but I'm, I'm going to say, oh, I'm going to go with Old Forge by six. Oh, that might be a little bit, oh, I don't know. At the same time, it's like both teams, it's not a bad pick, regardless of who you pick, it's going to be such a close game. Both teams are, 
in the same boat. I'm gonna go with Old Forge on this one. Oh my word. You can even put a drum roll sound effect over it if you did. Great, fantastic. When I made my pick, but I was going through like a bunch of different dimensions right now, trying to figure that out. Um, and then finally Montrose and Whitney Point, New York. Montrose is really bad, and if it's a team from a different state, I'm automatically taking them. So I'm gonna go Whitney Point. Don't know how good they are by like seven. Cool. Those are the picks. Now my brain is fried. Make sure you check in the max matchup of the week this week. Um, really good stuff going on. Um, I got Abington at Valley View. 7 o'clock Friday nights on Max 102.3. This is EJ the Cobra Samuel out. Do good things to this YouTube channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. And listen to me tomorrow. See ya.